What's good, Relentless Gang? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Green Screen Relentless Lex. Yes, Sersky. So, man, I decided to bring out the green screen. It was in my closet. It was in my closet. I said, you know what? I forgot I had a green screen. So I said, hmm, let's try to spice it up a little bit. Change, change the look up a little bit. So I want you guys to comment down below and let me know how y'all lacking the green screen. Do y'all prefer it this way for the videos or me bigger in the video, smaller in the corner without the green screen? Comment down below and let me know which one you guys prefer. All right? All right. So, but for now, let's get to the spicy. We got Maya revealing why she disappeared from the spotlight and talks about Jay-Z's affair rumors. Wow, spicy. Every day, whether it be in the industry or not, mentally, yeah. emotionally, sexually, financially, there can be power plays and ultimatums given for the people that hold the power. But it must be hard dealing with all the beehive coming at you. I don't have anybody coming at me. <laughs> I know what I'm not guilty of. Uh, of course, of course. But do you think Beyonce might say things or sing things just to stir up publicity for a new album? Or I can't really speak on what other... The iconic 90s R&B singer Maya is breaking her silence on her sudden disappearance from the spotlight and those long-standing rumors about her alleged affair with Jay-Z. Maya decided to shut down all the wild narratives that have been attached to her name, and she also spoke about the dark side of the entertainment industry and how you can get blackballed for having morals and principles. And while Maya kept it classy as always and didn't trash anyone, fans understood loud and clear the message behind her words and their saying the only reason Maya is not the huge superstar she deserves to be is because she refused to sell her soul and join the ranks of the industry gatekeepers. But what exactly did Maya reveal about her disappearance from the spotlight? Was she really blackballed for refusing to bow down to certain industry figures? Let's get into it. That was in power. That, you know. Bro, really, that's all it could be. Because if you don't, it's either you're in or you're out with Hollywood and the industry, bro. Lab labels, movies, record labels, manage bro, it's either you're in or you're out, period. That's how it is. So she must be choose to be on the out. That's what happened, bro. That want to sit and and get off on a thing it definitely plot on their prey. You will be blackballed. You will be talked about, you will be shit on you will be rumored about. That's crazy, but that's how it is. You have to stand strong on what Facts. you don't care for. It's not that serious to me, you know, if I have to sell my soul. Back in the late 90s and early 2000s, Maya Harrison doubted. She, she said, it. she said, if she had to sell her soul, she'd be blackballed a thousand times. Forget it. She's not selling her. She didn't sell her soul, bro. Shout out to Maya for, for that one, for real. Dazzled audiences with chart-topping hits like It's All About Me and Case of the X, as well as her iconic collaborations such as Lady Marmalade. Beyond the music realm, Maya also seamlessly transitioned into the world of acting, showing her talents in movies like Chicago and Shall We Dance. She received numerous accolades and awards, including a Grammy for Lady Marmalade and a Screen Actors Guild Award for her role in Chicago. Much like the late Aaliyah, Maya was a triple threat in singing, dancing, and acting and she was on the path to becoming a global superstar. However, after going through some issues with her record label, Maya slowly started to fade away from the spotlight and the mystery surrounding her absence from the public eye left fans wondering what exactly happened to Maya that made her turn her back on the industry. There's also been a lot of rumors floating around about Maya allegedly being propositioned by Jay-Z and then getting blackballed for turning him down. Others also speculated that Beyonce saw Maya as a threat, both personally and professionally. But is there any truth to these rumors? What did Maya say about leaving the industry? Well, let's start with Maya's decision to part ways with mainstream record labels and become an independent artist. Maya was initially signed to Interscope Records, and Interscope wanted to market Maya as their main female R&B artist, competing with the likes of Aaliyah, Brandy, and Monica. Maya's self-titled album was released in 1998, and it was a huge success, going platinum and selling 2 million copies worldwide. Maya started collaborating on hit singles with artists like Missy Elliott, Babyface, Diane Warren, Drew Hill, Christina Aguilera, Lil' Kim, and Pink. 
she went on to release two more successful projects through Interscope, Fear of Flying, and Moodring. And at the same time, she successfully transitioned into acting. Following the release of the box office hit Shall We Dance, where Maya starred opposite Richard Gere and Jennifer Lopez, she started working on her fourth studio album. The project was originally titled Control Freak and was scheduled for a mid-2005 release. However, the album was eventually shelved when Maya suddenly decided to leave Interscope in the fall of 2005. She eventually signed a contract with Universal Motown and continued work on her next album which was renamed Liberation. However, Universal Motown totally messed up the promotion and after delaying the album's release several times, someone from the label accidentally leaked the album in Japan, leading to its overall leak online. Maya never sued Universal Motown for money connected to the leak and instead decided to go independent. And while some fans believe Maya made a mistake for not taking her label to court, Maya later shared that people don't understand what's really going on behind the scenes, and she spoke about how artists are often forced to stay close to negative energies through their contracts. In her interview with Vlad TV, Maya talked about how both female and male artists are often pressured to accept some indecent proposals, and it's up to them to say no. There can be power plays and ultimatums given for the people that hold the power, whether that be toward a That's female strange. or male artist. And you have to not be des desperate. You have to be willing to say, I'm good. You and walk away. Maya also explained how many artists become part of the industry before they figured out who they are as a person, and that's why they're easy targets for those in power. You must protect your space, but you don't necessarily know what the agenda is behind someone speaking down to you, uh, at you, etc. There are horrible things that happen every day, whether it be in the industry or not, mentally, yeah. emotionally, Really, financially, and you have to break down your value. You really have to assess that and your standards. And it's very difficult if you don't know it, if you can't identify it regarding what's coming at you. Um, and that takes some time to maybe step away if you walked into this game not knowing who you are. If you start early in any game without knowing who you are and being solid in some type of foundation, it's is very dangerous. According to Maya, those who hold the power get off on using that power in a negative way, and that's what makes the industry so dangerous, especially for young people who are so focused on making it that they don't see what they're compromising in exchange for success. Those in power, you know, that want to use it and and get off on abusing it, definitely plot on their prey. You know, and you Definitely. have to be willing to sacrifice anything that you think you might benefit from, a career, etc., and say no, period. And when asked how she managed to stay away from those negative energies, Maya said she simply said no and walked away. However, she also hinted that saying no to certain individuals is the reason why she ended up being blackballed and having her name dragged through the mud. How did you say so guarded within your career? This is what I did. I said, no, I'm good, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so sometimes that doesn't translate as far as what you are allowed to have, what you have access to. You will be blackballed. You will be talked about, you will be on. You will be rumored about. But you have to stand strong on what you don't care for. It's not that serious to me. You know, if I have to sell my soul, I understand that I might have sacrificed something in the physical world, but the spiritual world is not worth it. You're okay. You don't need to do anything. What you need to do is protect every part of your life, your spirit especially, because everything else is connected to that. There are some, there are some people, <laughs> not everyone, that have huge egos, you know, and awful mindsets towards men, towards women, towards people. So, cause she, she uh, Rose, she said, that sounds like Jay-Z though. That, that sounds like she talking about Jigga Man, <laughs> for real. And it's very difficult to be around. It's just very difficult. 
and the way they mm -hmm. define success is not your idea of success. Speaking of having her name dragged through the mud, years ago, rumors started circulating that Maya had a relationship with Jay-Z after they collaborated on the remix of her hit song, Best of Me, which came out in 2000. Producer Tone, one half of the producer duo, the Tark Masters, who worked on Best of Me, told Complex in 2012 that Jay-Z didn't like Maya's vibe, and apparently he felt like she wasn't grateful enough. Tone said, Jay looked at her like, I'm about to rap on your record. You're about to have a hit, and I don't think you really appreciate it. According to Tone, Jay left the studio annoyed, and the producers then told Maya, Yo Maya, Jay wants to do the record, but he feels like you're not even giving him any love, like no thank you or none of that. Jay-Z later came back and finished the song, however, there's been a lot of speculation around this incident, and word on the street is that Jay, who is 10 years older than Maya, allegedly tried to make a move on her and she shut him down. And because of this, they reportedly tried to paint Maya as ungrateful and spoiled. Now fast forward to 2014 when reports started So that's the same way that they, Tyler Perry trying to do Monique, right? Do you see the trend? When you don't want to do what the higher-ups want you to do, they call you ungrateful and they make it seem like you're hard to work with, bro. Holly weird, bro, I tell you. Surfacing about Jay-Z cheating on Beyonce and Maya once again found herself at the center of rumors about her alleged affair with Jay. In 2016, Beyonce released her album Lemonade, and this is when Beyonce's fans again started pointing fingers at Maya, speculating that she's Becky with the good hair that Jay-Z cheated with. However, Maya shut that down real quick, and she even seemingly threw some shade at Jay, implying that she would never stoop so low as to be his mistress. When one fan on Instagram asked Maya, heard you and Jay Jay-Z had an 11-year affair, are you his side chick or nah? Maya responded, never did, never was, never will, but Maya didn't stop there. She also added, I play second to no one, pay my own bills, have my own label, own management company, rely on God only, and respect myself and marriage too much for nonsense. Now fast forward to today, and while Jay-Z and Beyonce may be bigger names than Maya with bigger bank accounts, Maya has no regrets about choosing to step away from the industry and protect her integrity. You have to step outside of your box, which is why I named um, my label Planet Nine. It's the furthest from Earth. <laughs> I mm -hmm. have had to create my own rules, my own standards to live by, you know, and do things in my own time. You know, my planet might not necessarily rotate around the sun 365 days. It might take me seven years to do something in, in my own time versus one earth year, but I have to. I have to put myself in a completely different world and environment just to function and stay good, stay alive, you know, and stay happy. And this attitude is the reason Maya still enjoys respect and admiration from fans all over the world who are praising her for choosing her principles over fame and material possessions. One fan wrote, she's giving just enough for people to catch what she's throwing out, but still knows not to say too much. I love how she carries herself as a woman with powerful standards and never folded to the never people that folded. have faith she never folded. Power. She was willing to sacrifice her career and getting the proper push That's to right. keep her standards, and she does it in such a classy way. This is a woman that was raised right. I respect her for going independent and having morals in an industry full of wolves. Thanks. And another person added, moral of the story is keep your integrity. Never sell yourself for anything and ultimately know your worth. I'm so happy for Maya. A peace of mind is a beautiful thing. But how do you feel about Maya's career path and her comments on the industry? Do you think she was really blackballed? For man, oh man. All right, Maya, shout out to Maya, man, for not taking the oath and for having the integrity that she have by herself, bro. She's still doing well. She might not be Jay-Z and Beyonce's well, but she's doing very well, and she still has a, her peace and her spiritual soul. It's still Gucci, you dig?